Hi, I'm going to cover the concept of limiting quality in acceptance sampling, but first I want to make it clear, and maybe it's a refresher for some of you, what it means to use the AQL, which is a much, much more commonly used approach. Okay, and this is um, covered in ISO 2859-1 um, and some other uh, standards. Okay, so AQL is means for acceptance quality limit and I'm going to go through a simple example here usually we go with level 2 um, and let's say we have a batch of 5000 pieces so we're here and that gives us letter L okay this is just the first uh, table then you go to the next one L Gives you 200 pieces to pick out of the 5,000 and let's say you have a, an AQL limit of 1.0 okay so this will bring us here 5 and 6 as you can see 5 is acceptance 6 is rejected so if we look at um, you know 5 defectives is okay six is not okay obviously um, one is okay two is okay right and then uh, seven etc etc are not okay so that's the way it works this is a normal inspection I'm going to get back to this what this means um, and some people here will say wait a minute 1.0 and this is percent okay so how come 1% uh, and here we have 200 pieces and so this means we accept up to 1% right this is a limit uh, but we can accept on this batch up to five right this is quite um, surprising to people sometimes and they say no no it's a mistake and so on it is not a mistake this acceptance plan is built on the assumption that it's a continuing series of lots it means that for example, you have a production process with the same materials, same equipment, and, and, and people on the same process, same methods, etc. And you are shipping, or maybe you're receiving batches one by one, you're going to be able to apply this plan. This is what it was supposed to be used for. Okay, And that means the AQL actually is... Um, sort of a limit over a number of batches and this on average okay and then sometimes yes one batch will have a, a higher percentage but then some other times maybe some batches will have a lower percentage so yeah this one is not so good but you know like on average over the whole production and maybe it's whatever 50 different batches right overall we don't want to be more than one percent right with a certain degree of uh, of certainty okay that's what it means now um, it also includes uh, switching rules okay switching rules are very important actually when it was a uh, military standard 105 of the u.s army uh, the, the the main differences between the, the different versions were about these switching rules so this is very important so you you start at normal normal severity if it's good you go with reduced the reduced severity which allows you to pick fewer samples and be a bit more lax and if it's bad uh, there are some failures you go to tighten inspection it's not necessarily more um, more samples to draw but it's a bit is a bit tighter okay you know that there's a history you know there's a doubt so you need to be a bit more picky Okay, that so that's really the um, 
the, 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 the whole context about the AQL, the intended use of this idea about the AQL, which again is an average, an intended average over a series of batches. Okay, and one batch from time to time is going to be not too good, but it's still going to be accepted. Now, what about a lot in isolation? You, you buy a, a lot and you cannot make any assumptions. You don't have any history. You just need to confirm is this batch uh, good or bad only based on its own in information. And that's where you use limiting quality, LQ. And this comes directly from the, the, the standard uh, ISO 2859-2. Okay, dash one was for AQL, uh, dash two is for LQ and for lots in isolation. This is a very important word. Okay, and just to make sure you understand how it works, there's nothing better than going through an example. Okay, so here, um, you can see this is the LQs, okay, 125, 2, and so on. You can see that these, uh, what they call the preferred LQs, are different from the preferred AQLs, where if you were going back to this table here, you see it's 1.0, 1.5, 2.5, 4.0, 6.5, .5, to prevent confusion. And all of these words, LQ, AQL, and so on, are, are, are quite confusing. So to prevent confusion, they use... Uh, different uh, preferred values by default okay now let's to make it easy let's take this one two so it means two percent because here we're just talking about defectives right it's possible to count the number of defects and so on apply these 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 plans in a different way but here we're going to do what most people do is just look for defective units okay if there's at least one defect on one unit is a defective unit this is really uh, all I'm covering here in this video. So let's say 2%. And again, let's say we have this example of 5,000. So it's this row, and then we have here 201. Uh, so 200 means 200 pieces, okay? And then it's okay if I find zero or one defective okay so here uh, the the acceptance limit is one and if we go back again here you can see it used to be five five <laughs> that's a lot more so what was here just to repeat uh, Five is the AQL, which is really considered uh, for one batch um, what can be accepted in the context of a whole series of batches. And some batches are going to be better, some batches are going to be worse. Uh, but as long as it's not too bad, uh, they will keep accepting every batch, right? And they are aiming at an average, an average value, okay? So... Uh, of, of 1.0 in our example here so that's why they were accepting up to five on this specific batch okay now here it's one one okay so it's really the opposite idea when you talk about lq you say okay i don't know anything about this batch i don't have any history to use or anything um, and i'm going to judge it only on the on its own merits so I'm going to pick 200 pieces the same, okay? However, however, if I find two, um, two defectives, it's rejected. Two or three or five or ten. <laughs> Whereas if you pick uh, the AQL, the other uh, approach, uh, two would be accepted, three would be accepted, four would be accepted, five would be accepted. It's very, very... Um, is very different okay so that's why they call it uh, the quality level is limited to a low probability of acceptance you want to um uh, to be tough basically okay when you talk about the lq um you want to take your, your precautions 
uh, and if you if if you say that uh, you pick two hundred pieces, and you say that you don't want two percent, or you 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 want uh, you want less than two percent, right? You want two percent with a low probability of acceptance is a is a limit uh, with a low probability of acceptance. So you take your margin of error because in your in the samples that you pick. Uh, you might pick samples, you know, that on average are better than the whole population of that batch. So, at one, it's uh, it's rejected, and of course, if you say one uh, out of two hundred, <laughs> well, it's zero point five percent, right? Um, <laughs> it's quite different from two percent. It's much lower. So that's the idea here. You take a lot of margin to be safer. While if we go back here, I just want to emphasize this the last time. If you say five divided by two hundred, <laughs> well, um, it's not one percent, right? Uh, it's two point five percent, right? When we actually were accepting um, uh, an EQL of one percent again as an average over a series of, of batches. Okay, so here we are very lax. With the LQ is the opposite. We are much stricter. So I hope that was useful. I hope I covered at least the, the, the most important concepts here. Thank you.